the Clintons, they didn't want to run against a professional politician who had experience in running a professional campaign. Let's, let's run against Donald Trump. That's why they were petrified when Paul Manafort replaced Corey Lewandowski as Trump's campaign manager. Manafort is a highly capable person with extensive experience at the task at hand. He knows how to win national elections. He had been involved in many of them. Uh, this is one of the reasons, beyond the fact that he beat them in a Ukrainian election, and they could never get over that because it delayed their plunder of Ukraine, uh, which was really the reason why Manafort was targeted. He was targeted for two reasons. Remember, he was not charged with any crime that had anything to do with Donald Trump. Well, and, and we'll get to this also, but no one ultimately convicted you, Flynn, Manafort, of that entire event had anything to do with the underlying Russia collusion. There is no Russian collusion. Because the, the, there was none. They got you on the procedure, and they got the others on the process. Right. Uh, but Sorry, so carry on with Manafort. So, uh, so in Manafort's case, um, Victoria Newland, who's the criminal at the State Department in charge of Ukraine, uh, could never get over the fact that Manafort had gotten uh, Viktor uh, Yukonovich uh, in as the president of Ukraine, and just for the historical record, was pushing Ukraine to join the European Union over the objections of Vladimir Putin and the Russians. So the idea that Manafort is a Russian stooge doesn't hold up in the in, in, when it comes to history. Uh, after thirty million dollars. Uh, is spent on the Mueller investigation, plus Adam Schiff's phony investigation in the House Intelligence Committee, plus the Senate Intelligence Committee investigation, here's what they come up with. Manafort gave poll numbers from the Trump campaign to a guy named Konstantin Kalimnik, and he was a Russian agent. There's the Russian collusion. Kalimnik is a U.S. government intelligence agent he was reporting regularly to the Ukrainian uh, 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 embassy in Ukraine. That is such a secret that his name is redacted in all the cables that are sent from the embassy back to the State Department and the CIA to keep them up abreast of what's going on. So Kalimnik is not a Russian agent. Uh, and at the time that Manafort supposedly passes this polling information to the Russians, Trump has no proprietary polling information. He's still in the field. So public polls, which could be read in the newspaper, were given to Kalimnik, who's an associate of Manafort's. But Kalimnik is not a Russian intelligence agent. Adam Schiff recycled that chestnut a couple weeks ago on Meet the Press. Andrew Weissman, the epically corrupt uh, de facto head of the... You have none. Not the meeting with Donald Trump Jr. at the White House. The woman, Russian, is working for GPS Fusion or Fusion GPS. She meets with them before the meeting for a briefing. She meets with them after the meeting for a debriefing. It's a setup. No Russian collusion there. The Russian Alpha Bank uh, connection, that was disproved uh, in a federal courthouse. There is no Russian collusion. So you're absolutely right. But the goal here is to get people who are competent in helping Donald Trump elected out of the campaign. Well, those would be Paul Manafort, Roger Stone, uh, I'm helping from the outside, but I'm certainly plugged in, uh, and Michael Flynn, who gives them real authority uh, and a depth of knowledge on foreign policy and national security issues. Well, we had to be taken out. And to set an example,